Hello and welcome to today's pandemic update video for Sunday, August 7th, 2022. 98% of the counties in this country are in high or substantial levels of transmission. And 94% of them do make up high, so that's a pretty high percentage. Moderate to low is just over 2%. Taking a look at the variant proportions for the United States, and we're going to do this a little bit differently today. First off, B8.5 makes up 85.5% of the cases. B8.4 makes up 7.7% of the cases. Then we come down to this wild card B8.4.6 variant, which makes up 4.1% of the cases. B8.2.12.1 makes up 2.6% of the cases. B8.2 just under 0.1%. It's almost gone. Coming back to BA.4.6, I did say early last week I didn't think it would amount to anything. I'm taking that back now. I think it will amount to something now. Something very interesting is happening with this. And if we switch to Region 7 of this product, which would be Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, and Nebraska, watch what happens. You're going to see completely different numbers in this little region. BA.5 there is 77.2%. But then we come down to BA.4.6, and look at this. It's already 10.7% of the cases in this area. So it is gaining ground, and it's something we're going to have to continue to watch. BA.4 is 9% of the cases. BA.2, 12.1, 2.9% of the cases, and BA.2, again, almost non-existent. Switch to another region, I believe. Yeah, here we go. Region 3. Check this out. And Region 3 would be Delaware, District of Columbia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. Look here. 83.4% of the cases are BA.5. BA.4 is 7.7%. But then again, this wild card BA.4.6, it's already 5.6% of the cases. And mind you, prior to last week, it was 0% of the cases everywhere. It might have been listed as one of the other variants, but for the most part, it was non-existent. And now all of a sudden, it's starting to come into the picture. So it's something we're going to have to uh, continue to watch. And I do think there is a possibility that it becomes a future variant wave in this country, perhaps by the end of this month. I think it could be our next wave. And I'll show you why as we get into the data. First of all, here, taking a look at today's cases, 12,446 new cases. It's low because it's Sunday. Not many states report on Sunday. 11 new deaths added today. 120,358 tests conducted in the last 24 hours. That's horrible. But mind you, not many states reported today, so there's your reason for that. Hospitalizations are continuing to drop. That's a good thing. 42,000. 455 in the hospital today, that's down 545. Currently in the ICU, 4,872, that's down by 100. National map, you'll see only the far northern states are really where we're seeing any kind of a rise. Uh, Oklahoma is seeing 3% up, but that's pretty much flat. Alaska is also up. But look here at Iowa, up 23%. And remember, that's one of the areas that have a higher proportion of that BA.4.6 variant. So something very interesting we are watching. Taking a look at the reported cases, not many states today. New York, 4,770 cases. New Jersey, 2,611. Arkansas, 486. Puerto Rico, 4,163. Connecticut, 416. And that's it for today. Taking a look at Walgreens, it continues to show interesting things. First of all, the national positivity is 36.9%. If we zoom in on the chart over here, you will see that the positivity is pretty much flat. So though we are past peak on the BA.5 wave, uh, the positivity at Walgreens is not really dropping. And if anything, when you look at all the states on this map, you're starting to see some more lighter shades of red and even some dark red starting to pop up, meaning that... Uh, there are cases starting to rise again in some areas, at least at Walgreens. And some of that could be because of the BA.4.6 variant, which I find to be very interesting. Look here in uh, Maine, up 4.5% to 28% positivity. New Hampshire, 24.2%. That's up. 
New York State's even starting to rise again. And you can actually see it here on the chart. Look at that. It was flat, and now it's slowly starting to go up again. Very interesting, eh? Check out Mississippi. Mississippi kind of flattened a little bit. It was still rising somewhat. Then all slowly, whoop, going up pretty quickly. 42.1%. Same could be said for Wyoming, although Wyoming is starting, it has leveled off, and it's dropping now. And if you notice, Wyoming's one of those places where it's up, down, up, down, up, down. And you look here at the Dakotas, you're seeing, oh, bright red, Sturgis, the ride, the roar, the COVID. Coming over here to Texas, Texas positivity today is at 43% on the Walgreens map. Texas positivity on the state level is 29.39%. And taking a look at hospitalizations. Oops, wrong one. Hospitalizations, 3,490. New York State positivity today is 7.9%. Cases were 4,700. Hospitalizations have been dropping in New York State to 2,550. I saw a tweet today saying, oh, the hospitalizations in New York State are now above the Delta wave of last year and the spring wave. Yes, that was true 7 to 10 days ago. They have now dropped. What we might see happen is when the next wave comes, which is BA.4.6, uh, we might see that if the hospitalizations are not dropped low enough, when they're rising again, they'll probably pass all three of these peaks, including the BA.5 peak. And I know definitely that'll probably happen at least in the late fall into, into the winter. Taking a look at some international cases today. India, 14,374 new cases. France, 21,000 new cases. Italy, 26,000 new cases. South Korea, 105,507 new cases. That's a lot for a Sunday. Then that takes us down to Japan. Japan had another 214,879 new cases today and an additional 161 deaths added today. Really bad for a Sunday. And if they haven't locked down at this point, they're not going to lock down at all. Taiwan today, 22,000 new cases. All right, monkeypox outbreak. Around the world, there are now 28,880 cases. I think by the end of tomorrow, or by early on Tuesday, that's going to pass 30,000. Coming down here, taking a look at the states. Not many states report today. Spain uh, adds, is at two deaths. Brazil's at one death. Peru's at one death. Uh, to there's a total of six deaths. But one thing I do want to point out to you today is Florida, early this morning, they had their first case in a child. Then later on today, they added that to three cases in a child. Now here we are at the end of the day. They now have nine child cases all of a sudden. That's alarming. That child cases are going up that fast. And that's telling me now that schools are starting up. Some of the ones have started up in the south. A couple have started up in California. As the month progresses and as we get closer to Labor Day, the rest of the country is going to be going back. Monkeypox has a 21 to 30 day incubation period. That means over the next several weeks, I think we're going to see a huge increase in children cases with monkeypox and women cases and everyone else in general. Because remember, like I said in our video earlier today, monkeypox affects everyone. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with the back to school period. Alrighty, that's all I have for today. Remember, my daily reminders are Continue to mask in all public places, grocery stores, even outdoors. If you're outdoors and you're around other people, put a mask on. N95 or better. Getting gas? Wear gloves. Getting groceries? Wear gloves. Working in high-risk setting where you got to touch a lot of things? Wear gloves. Alrighty. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, we are all in this together until the end. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below. Share these videos with everyone many people as you can because remember the pandemic's not over and monkeypox is just getting started all right stay safe everyone see you all next time